Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you really easy and step by step how to make this elegant fringe St. Valentine's heart earrings. They are easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure that even if you are a beginner you will be able to make them. Consider subscribing with the bell if you still haven't, also liking, sharing and commenting. In this way you give me signals that you like my work and you want me to continue with it. Support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Now, without further delay, let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are three colors of 11 seed beads red, white and golden. I'm also using earring findings in golden color. This is Neil Bond nylon thread. You could use Nymo or other brand of nylon thread but for this tutorial because we're making fringe earrings it's better to use nylon beading thread. This is size 11 beading needle. You could use also size 12 if you want. Here I'm using scissors and these are flat nose pliers that I use only if I need to go through the difficult beads. And now I'm going to take a comfortable length of thread on my needle and later I will show you how to add more thread. If you don't want to add more thread, just take an arm span and a half of thread and it should be enough for these earrings. Okay guys, and I'm starting my work by picking up one golden and one red bead. I'm going to slide this down. I'll leave here a small tail and I'm going backwards through the golden one. Pulling. Now I have my beads next to each other, touching side to sides with the holes pointing in one direction. And then I'm going to go through the red one. Okay. Then I take one white bead, go backwards through the red and one more time through the white one. Again I have my beads arranged next to each other with the holes pointing in this direction. Another white A red one in the center. And then guys, I'm going to repeat this part the other way around. First three white beads, one red and one golden. Okay, then I'm going through this red bead that I have here. And now I'm going to start with the familiar brick stitch. Okay, I take a golden and a red in my first step. And because in my next row I will have less beads than in this row, I will be decreasing. That is why I should go here under the second thread bridge. You see these thread bridges that I have between my beads. The first one is between the golden and the red and the second one is between the red and the white and I'm going under the second one. Then I'm going back through this red bead here. And I'm going to reinforce the 
but I don't like this gap that I have between my beads. That is why in this case I will go backwards through the previous row and one more time here through these red beads. Okay, then in my next step guys I'm taking one white bead and I'm going under the next thread bridge that I have here, you see? which is between the first and the second white. This is the third thread bridge from the beginning of my row, in fact. Okay. I add one bead and I go through it. Then I take another white bead and I go under the next thread bridge. And then I go back through the same white bead. In my next step I take a red bead, I go under the next thread bridge and then backwards through this same red bead. Take another red one, next thread bridge, and backwards through the same red. And in my next steps, guys, I'm adding two whites one by one, one red and one golden. Okay, now I have my second row ready and the next row guys I'm starting with a golden and a red again because here I'm decreasing all the time I will go under the second thread bridge then I'm going back through this red bead and I'm reinforcing this joint going through the golden and one more time through the red one another red and then another white And what it comes next are three reds and one golden. Then I take a golden and a red and I do absolutely the same thing, go under the second thread bridge. Reinforce. Another red one. Then two whites, one by one. And two reds, one golden.
Then I take a golden and a white. Reinforce it. Add four more whites in a row and one golden. Okay, take a golden and a white again, go under the second thread bridge. Add three more whites and a golden and I'll meet you. Okay, I added those beads. Now I'm going to make a row with only five golden beads. Okay, then add a row with three goldens and with three goldens and meet me. Okay, and here I'm taking one golden, an earring finding and one golden. And as I'm exiting here, I'm going under the second thread bridge like this. Then I want to make a reinforcement by going one more time through those two beads that I just added. And after that, what I want to do is go through all of those beads in this direction. And I want to exit next to this tail thread that I have from my first row. Now here, what I want to do is to make a knot by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made. Okay. Then I'm going through this golden bead here. And now if you want, you could put your needle on this end and make some knots after that. Cut your thread. It's not obligatory, but only if you want to be on the safe side. Okay. And now guys, it's time to start my fringes. Okay, my friends. So for my first fringe, what I take are three golden, four white, one golden, four white, two golden, one white, one golden, one white, two red beads, one white, one golden, three red and one golden. Okay, this is the long sequence that you should take. If you want, pause on this video, pick it up. And then what we do is that we skip the golden one at the end and we go backwards through as many beads as we can. Pull. Then go through all of those beads here and you could go through two beads in this direction. In this way the chance of thread showing between the brick stitch part and the fringe part is smaller when you go two beads in this direction I mean. Then in order to go to at your next fringe you should go backwards and exit out of the next um, a red one. Oh. Okay, so what I have here on my thread are three red, one golden, seven white, one golden, four white, two golden, one white, one golden, one white, two reds, one white, one golden, three red and one golden beads. Okay, now I will show you one more time. the steps of going 
through all of those beads by skipping the last golden and going here in this red and then what I do is that I go in the following white and with this I reposition my thread and I'm ready for my next fringe okay I'll pick up the sequence and I'll be back okay guys and what I have here is my next long sequence which is three white two red one golden seven white one golden four white two golden one white one golden one white two red one white one golden three red and one golden okay then I'll go back through them skipping the last golden I will exit out of the next white bead I and I will add my next long sequence and I'll be back and for the fourth fringe I have five white two red one golden seven white one golden four white two golden one white one golden one white two red one white one golden three red and one golden okay I'll go back in reposition and add my next long sequence okay my friends and this is my next long sequence it consists of six white two red one golden seven white one golden four white two golden one white one golden one white two red one white one golden three red and one golden okay and I'll go back and exit out of my next bead and pick up the middle sequence the longest one okay then I won't make you watch me go through all of those beads I'll just go through them off camera and then because my thread is almost over I will show you how to add more thread and cut this one okay my friends and as I went back through all of my beads here what I want to do is to make a loop go twice through the loop I've made pull and then I'm going to go through one or two beads cut my thread and I will take a new long thread on my needle let's say an arm span again and I'll be back okay my friends and now I have a new long thread on my needle and what I want to do is add it here to my work how I do this I go through one or two beads make here a loop then go twice through the loop I've made pull and then I'm in a position here where I need to add my central longest fringe and because I don't need this tail thread anymore I'm going to cut it okay I'll take the longest fringe the sequence for the longest fringe and I'll be back okay my friends and this is the longest sequence that I have here it consists of one red six white two red one golden seven white one golden four white two golden one white one golden one white two red one white one golden three red and one golden okay pick up this sequence then go back the same way skipping the golden one exit out of the next white bead and I'll be back okay guys and I'm ready with my longest fringe and from now on I won't be showing you how I'm making the next fringes because they are absolutely the same as this one so after the longest one it comes this one and you just mirror them make this one here this one here this one here this one here and the last one here at the golden 
okay because it is absolutely the same way i won't be showing you in details you just watch from these already done fringes and repeat them okay see you in a while okay guys and as i continued adding more and more fringes absolutely the same way here i am where I need to make the final knot and cut my thread. Okay, I make a loop and I go twice through the loop I've just made and I pull. I go through some beads in this direction and I cut this tail thread. Okay guys, and now my elegant fringe seed beads heart earrings for Saint Valentine's Day are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe also hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make new tutorials and you will be inspired often check description for useful resources and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button thank you so much for staying here with me until the end now click on the saint valentine's playlist that you see on your screens and continue watching